This is example 5.4 on page 174 of your textbook. And this is an example utilizing solution stoichiometry. So in chapter four, we learned about normal regular stoichiometry with mass amounts. In this chapter, because we're dealing with aqueous solutions, we're typically converting in volume units, or they're either liters or milliliters. So I'm going to show you how to convert from liters of one reactant or product to liters of another reactant or product using volume and molarity <clears throat> as well as the mole ratio presented with, um, within the balanced chemical reaction. So the typical strategy adopted by <clears throat> solution stoichiometry is to go from volume of substance A to moles of A, typically using the molarity, and then to use the mole to mole ratio found in the balanced chemical reaction to go between moles of A to moles of B, and then from there we can use the molarity or volume of um, B to get back into volume of B. So it's very similar to normal stoichiometry where just instead of mass amounts it's going to be volume amounts. So that's the general strategy we're going to adopt. So in this problem it states that we have um, a volume of 0.15 molar KCl, or sorry, not a volume, a molarity, 0.15 molar KCl, and that's going to react with 0.15 liters of a 0.175 molar lead nitrate solution. So what they want to know is what volume of our KCl solution is going to react. So here we have three given variables. We have a molarity of our KCl, a volume, and a molarity of our lead nitrate. And they also give us a nice balanced equation to help us with this problem. So when you're starting these types of problems, I always start with a thing that I know more about. I have two numbers associated with lead nitrate and I typically want to start with my volume. So one of the numbers I know about lead nitrate is its volume. Ultimately, <coughs> excuse me, we're looking for volume of our KCl. So to start off, I'm going to say I have 0 0.150 liters of my lead nitrate. And my first step is to get to go from liters to moles. The way I can do that is by using lead nitrate's molarity. Remember that big M represents a complex unit of moles per liter. So if I want liters to cancel, remember this 0.0175, that's like saying I have 0.0.175 moles per one liter. So if I'm trying to cancel liters, that one liter is gonna go on the bottom and my 0 0.175 moles of lead nitrate will go up top. So then liters cancel. And I'm now in moles of my first substance. At this point, I want to change between the two mole amounts. So what I'm going to do is look at my balanced equation and see that one mole of lead nitrate gives me two moles of potassium chloride. So I'm trying to cancel moles of lead nitrate. So on my bottom little um, next denominator is going to be one mole 
lead nitrate. And the fact that there's a one in front comes from the balanced equation. I'm trying to convert to KCl. So my numerator slot, I'm going to put two moles KCl. And that two comes from the fact that I have two moles of KCl in my balanced chemical reaction. So now moles of lead nitrate cancel. I'm left in moles of KCl. The last number I have yet to use is my 0.15 molar KCl. Remember that big M is like saying I have 0 0.150 moles per one liter of KCl. So if I want moles to cancel, I'm going to put moles in my denominator and the liters up top. So we're going to have 0 0.150 moles KCl per one liter of solution up top. Moles KCl cancel. I'm left with liters of my KCl solution, which is what I'm looking for. So then I'm going to multiply all my values on top and divide those by my values on the bottom and your final answer should come out to be 0 0.350 liters of KCl and that is your final answer.